is a space that will see immense innovation in the years to come. Since we are the top brand in India in this space, all the business is going to come to us. I've had a lot of people who have grown through the ranks. A young project manager who's today heading the city operations. And the only rule at Design Cafe is if you are at our stores, please be smiling, enjoy your time. An organization that is focused to give you all the tools that you need to succeed. It's been almost seven years now. We're sitting here actually in March 23. And the really cool thing in one way is that the reason we started Design Cafe hasn't fundamentally changed. So we're architects and designers. We ran a design firm for a decade uh, before we saw this white space that nobody was in. And we said, here are a very, very large number of Indians who don't have access to professional design, one, who still go to the local contractor carpenter, who don't get great innovative design solutions. There is no access actual reliability on the product, there is never any handover on time. Literally everything you can see is broken in this space. And we said here we are with experience of doing high-end homes and can we transform this for the homeowner, for the designer, so that it makes it simpler for them to actually deliver high quality products, high quality designs for homes, make it simpler for the ecosystem so that we truly get designer homes democratized for the largest set of Indian homeowners. The vision of Design Cafe in 2015 that we started with, that is true all the way today. We have had people who have been with us for five plus years and they can tell you that how the company has transformed was beyond any of us truly imagined. And while Shazan and I would like to say that we believed that all of this would happen, and we did. We did believe that we would be across the country uh, a fair number of it, we would touch over 10,000 homes that we would be able to add value and be a part of so many lives. I will tell you that we truly didn't imagine the scale at which we'd be able to make a difference. Right? And this came together because we found such passionate individuals who truly put in time to see what all was possible. Where we are today is where, uh, where we are today is covering most of South India, uh, to actually give them a solution that most individuals never dreamt that they truly could have access to. Um, but from here, the possibilities are endless because A, we have completely transformed the way designers will create products. DC Moss coming in has meant that designers can translate an idea, a vision into reality all the way to the shop floor and manufacturing within a very short period of time. We're here in March 2023 here and having covered most of South India, we're looking to get across the eastern and western halves of the country before we go and make our attack to the capital city. This growth, this, uh, this vision to actually be in every single major city of India and therefore give those homeowners a chance to live interiors that they have never really imagined uh, is the next growth vision for the company. But this would not be complete uh, without me talking about carpentry, uh, a, an idea that came that we came by last year in 2022, um, well past COVID. And that is th the potential of this, the way homeowners who are just starting out on their home buying journey can also take advantage of this initial vision of why we started Design Cafe, but at a budget that works for them is the reason that we are extremely excited about the growth and where we are headed with Design Cafe and Carpentry together. As someone starting in a Design Cafe today in March 23, uh, Design Cafe is a very different company from people who joined in any time before. Um, while truly the culture of the company is that of a startup, the best of being a startup, which means you are agile, you're quick to thinking, hierarchy is very flat. Uh, we are still a medium-sized company becoming a fairly large enterprise today. Um, and that means that I mean, fundamentally, we're not that small anymore at all. With more than 1,000 people, this is a fairly large enterprise. But at the heart of it, the DNA of the company, we're maintaining the vigor, the passion, the absolute enthusiasm to go and conquer that we started out with. Here we are seven years later with several organized players having come in, settled down, and yet, together, we are barely over 10% of the entire market. The absolute potential of what is happening as this industry organizes, as more and more global players come in to actually create, take a share of the pie, 
is actually creating more business for all of us. I have never seen such enthusiasm, such support, such interest from the very, very large MNC companies in this space as to how this space will create value across the entire ecosystem. Take an example of listed companies like Asian Paints, like Kajaria, like um, Merino Laminate, right? Like Astral Pipes. A lot of these are companies that are also uh, with our PE investors and the sheer scale of growth in this space is something they haven't seen um, in the 10 years before that they've seen in the last five. And it just is, there's just so much of vibrancy and so much opportunity today, um, some of it owing to COVID and the reason why people believed that homes have never been as important to their lives before. Uh, but it's also because as the ecosystem actually gets organized, it just adds up value to every single player in this. The question of whether this is a sunrise industry or not, I promise you it's not even a question. There is literally no white space today in India that exists that is larger than this one. With the real estate sector growing year on year, with tier two transforming with every city and the urban sprawl increasing across middle India, this is a, this is a space that will see immense innovation in the years to come. Today, over 90% of the market is unorganized, which means today, I would say about 10 or 12 billion dollars worth of orders every year goes to carpenters or the unorganized sector. Now just fast forward three or four years from today and think about the home buyer. The home buyer, he or she, whoever they are, are most likely going to be born after 1988. They are not going to choose an unorganized path for their home. All of us are so used to convenience, to working with brands, and to doing everything digitally. That choice is going to be made to move to brands. And since we are one of the top brands in India in this space, all the business is going to come to us, right? So even if in the next three or four years, if it's a $10 billion industry, and we capture 5% of that market, that's a $5 million business annually. That is big. So I, I think it's, not only sunrise, it's like Jupiter, a lot of suns and a lot of rising to be done in this business for sure. It's only the last couple of years that the interest in what is the culture of the company, how we set out the vision to grow this company has been in focus. But surprisingly, this is what we thought of when there were two of us. When the two of us shut down our last company to start our design cafe, when we said that we would be in 100,000 homes in five years, we knew that we would only be able to achieve this with a whole number of people who are aligned to this common vision. And you know the funny thing about it, um, unlike every standard management wisdom out there, unlike every poster you've ever seen about putting customer first, we never said that. We, from the very beginning said, this is an employee first organization. Every policy we have will be built for the employees in the company so that they take the values, the actual passion with which we actually create, the sheer bonding, the sheer culture, the sheer respect you have and translate that to the customer. For every homeowner, this is a very, very personal purchase, right? The fact that we actually have people who have dreamed about their first home for, for a decade, for years. Um, to understand the value, the true significance of that, it needed a family to actually take care and translate what a family needs. And really the only way um, to very young 30 year olds thought that we would be able to achieve this vision was to create that sense of family, that sense of belonging here at Design Cafe. Um, so it's been more than five years now. I'm, um, we've had people who have been part of our journey who have got us here. And one thing that I hold really close to my heart is that these are people who have been with us, who have helped us build this company, who are still part of this shared vision that we have. In so many ways, we, whether it is actual people who have joined back, whether it is people who continue to invest the time in spreading the word about Design Cafe, whether it is people who see the things that they learn and value uh, and bring that back to us in some way or form, um, Every single person who has been a part of this journey is why we as an organization are where we are today. You know that whole scene that you have in Chakte, 
where Shahrukh Khan talks about, as Coach Kabir Khan, he talks about how when you actually work, you have to put the country first and then your energy towards your team and teammates and if you have any energy left for yourself and what you want. And this is something that we have seen that is exactly what we have followed here at Design Cafe. Every single team has put together their combined energies to build this very, very, very large dream into reality at Design Cafe. And that is because they have put this larger vision first. Every single day, they have put this vision first. So coming back to what we said, is this a people first organization? Don't believe me because I'm saying it. Talk to people who are with us, talk to people who are no longer with us. Talk to people to see how they felt about being part of a vision of building something that was one of the most extraordinary experiences of their life. Welcome to Design Cafe. I'm so thrilled that you're actually, that you've decided to be a part of this organization. Um, it's, been, it's been a couple of years now. Okay, it's been more than a couple of years now. And the only reason we are here today, and you'll hear this again and again from everybody, the collective we pronoun. The only reason we are here today is because somebody just like you decided that they wanted to transform their career, that they wanted to be part of a growth story. They wanted to actually be right in the front of what was possible, um, not just as a company, but to really be able to see what was possible as an individual. If this was a role that you thought would be a nine to five job, if you thought this is a place you could come to and manage and put in time while also doing so many other things, I'm not really sure Design Cafe is the right place for you. This is a place that will demand a lot from you but this equally is a place that will give a lot back to you. I really, really wish that you have a fantastic journey here. And while we don't tie people uh, down and hold them to a binding contract, um, I've had a lot of people who have grown through the ranks, uh, fresher designers who are design studio managers today, uh, young sales managers who came in and are now city heads, um, a young project manager who's today heading the city operations. People who have gone across the length and breadth of this country to actually take this vision that we had and bring it into sharp reality. If any of this sounds like something you'd like, something that you want to be a part of, welcome to Design Cafe. Welcome to Design Cafe. You are now part of our ever-growing team. There used to be a time when Geeta and me would welcome all of you personally we can't do that now, unfortunately. Or fortunately, we all want to be big. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in person. But until then, enjoy the role that you're playing in changing India's home improvement landscape. You are an important part to play. Have fun. And the only rule at Design Cafe is if you're at our stores, please be smiling. Enjoy your time here. I understand I'm addressing a very varied set of people here. Some of you who are just about freshers, have a couple of years of experience um, having a career. Some of you who are fairly experienced between five to eight years. Some who have probably had a decade of work experience. Some of you have been doing specific things that you'd now like to change and explore other facets of your personality. To every one of you, first, welcome to Design Cafe. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful career here for how many, how many ever years you're here with us. What can you expect at your time here? An organization that is focused to give you all the tools that you need to succeed collectively as a team and also as an individual. Please be prepared for an immense, a cargo ton of learning, of experiences that will make you stretch what you thought this role meant. Definitely way beyond what is written in the job description, um, but it isn't going to be a complete surprise. Uh, the company has OKRs, has AOPs that put down what we actually go after year on year. And that's literally the reason we're able to collectively, so many of us together, work towards a combined vision. What will your role look like? Please have open and honest conversations with your managers who are attuned and in line with every one of our growth plans. One thing I do tell everybody who joins, I want every one of you to have the answer to what is it you want your life to look like when you're 25, 30, 35, 40, depending on where you are. 
And it seems strange. Every time I go to a center and I ask this question, people look at me and say, you mean at work? I'm like, no. What do you want your life to look like? And you know why this is important? If you really don't know where, what you'd like for your life, what you'd like realized completely in every facet of it, how will you move forward here in Design Cafe? Please work with the team here, with your managers here, with the leadership here even, to actually distill down to what you'd like your life to look like. The more clarity you have, and you can change your mind to that, the better you will find your journey here at Design Cafe. You know what I loved as an architect? The potential of an empty site. When I shifted and became an interior designer, it was the potential of an empty space. Now as an entrepreneur, what excites me the most is the potential of what we can build together. You know, and in a way, the life at Design Cafe that I think is the most exciting is the potential of what we can be and what we can be together. And that's, it's fun, it's crazy, it's passion, it's, it's stress, it's, it's a journey that will, will ask everything of you, but it will, you will get more from it than you ever thought was possible. So a couple of years back, we actually had to put together a culture document of what our values at Design Cafe were gonna be. Um, you know, I did a ton of research and this is quite, this is kind of the norm for me. Did a ton of research, read articles of how companies had built this across the board and then decided that none of that was gonna work for us. What do we hold dear every single day? At the very core of it, empathy. We want everybody to be able to put themselves in the shoes of the customer they serve. The customer for a lot of people in Design Cafe is another internal team member. But whether it's a homeowner or your customer, empathy is at the very core of the cultural values here. How we want everybody to conduct themselves by showing trust and respect of every individual. Please be and behave like how you would like to be treated yourself. And that's the standard that we use for how everybody should conduct themselves, how they should interact with everybody here at Design Cafe. But one more that I would like to point out is be authentic. We don't want a whole set of me too's here of people who all look like each other, who behave like each other, who think like each other, who speak like each other. You know, even for this day, I had a script uh, that came together. It just doesn't work, does it? How do you sound like? What does your work look like? What is your goals and how will that translate? Bring your entire self here at Design Cafe and you'll take back more than you ever thought was possible. You know, I get asked this question fairly often. Why do you get out of bed each day or what, what motivates you to get out of bed each day? And until I started getting this, I never really had to think about it because just the sheer excitement, no, I don't think excitement would be the right word, the sheer magic of what is possible when there, are, there is a group of focused, of passionate individuals who come together towards a shared vision. It has astounded me beyond anything I would have thought was possible. So I don't follow or form or I don't fit any one of the prescribed categories of a startup founder today. I am a B and or IIT and then I am a B school in the US or Europe. Um, consulting experience and then raise money to start a venture. We did none of that. We're architects, we run a professional firm, and then we decided to actually venture out in the startup world. And everybody thought we were completely nuts to do this. But the, but the potential of what was possible was what drove us, was why we never even thought twice about what, about shutting down a, a, a very successful company to start this. And then later on, every time we had people come in who, who all are building and driving this vision forward in ways that I genuinely couldn't have imagined when I started out, it has just meant that every day you get out to see how much further we've gone from the day before. And this has become so much bigger than what we started out with, right? Um, so all of these ideas, are you bored? Do you want to take? a break, um, do you feel stressed? Now, I'm not saying any of those are bad things, but in my life, 
I've seen that every single time, even a whisper of this comes into my daily life, all I need to do is look outside of myself at the people around me and what they are focused on. And it's astounding how all of your niggles and problems tend to fade away when you see what people can come together to build. Like just look at this one thing, it took more than 20 people to put this effort together but not a whisper of it was seen and visible to me. I know it's happened in the background, but at the end of the day, it's almost like a well-oiled machine of people with very, very clear goals who come together every day to take us so much further. And, oh, it's the most exciting journey I've ever been part of. So here are a couple of things that you probably don't know about me. I can be, I can take a habit or a, or a passion and I go quite far out with it. Um, I love reading, but it means that when I get lost in it, I will, I will see myself reading 120, 150 books a year. I decided that I wanted to try, not really trekking, but to kind of really push myself and see uh, what I could achieve. That's one of a common thread that you will find. And immediately from idea to execution, it meant in three months time, I went and did a 100 kilometer walk. Um, as a competition alone with no group and with no support team. Maybe now you can kind of think that this is true. I'm not as thin as I used to be. But it was very surprising when um, up to under 16, I was the gold medal winner in shot put, which was a very odd achievement at that point. A typical day is that they aren't typical at all. Um, <laughs> right now, my role at Design Cafe and Carpentry is to actually go out and connect with all of the lovely people who have joined us, uh, who are joining us, who are part of this large vision across the country. It means every other week you'll see me at an experience centre. I'm, ex I'm extremely excited to connect with uh, all of the different teams, the people who bring their life into uh, what we're building. But it means that no two days look alike. But in the middle of all of this chaos and this, the fair amount of unplanned, but actually what looks like chaos is fairly organized. I'm gonna quickly kind of show you this. My life is led by this calendar that you can see. Every single activity I do um, will be here. So even if this means um, morning meditation and yoga to a dinner plan with friends to meeting a team and taking them out and getting to know them better. This is what keeps me organized. So while every day throws up a bunch of surprises, uh, what I look forward to the most is interacting with a different set of people every single day. It's what I feed off, it's what I get my energy from. And hey, if you're shy and you're not, you know, you've, you think that talking to your CEO is weird, you're gonna have to get over that because I'm gonna come and talk to you as soon as I can.